What's up, guys? I'm back in my truck. Um, I figured I'd turn the camera on <clears throat> while I drive. I got this uh, the chest harness on, so hopefully y'all can see everything. Uh, but I wanted to turn the camera back on uh, while I drive up the street to the next spot just to kind of give you some pointers that have helped me throughout the years uh, while hunting, squirrel hunting. Um, and here in a couple days, maybe, a, shit, maybe even today, uh, rabbit season starts. And that's my favorite time to go squirrel hunting because you can, you know, you're bound to kick up a rabbit while squirrel hunting and, and you're bound to see a squirrel while rabbit hunting. So, you know, there's been times where I'll come back with, uh, with both. But anyways, as far as squirrel hunting tips, um, everyone seems to do it a little bit different. I am not one of those guys that will sit there for four hours next to a tree. Um, I used to play a lot of Call of Duty back in the day. I'm going to have to turn that off. Hopefully this don't block nothing. All right. So... I used to play a lot of Call of Duty back in the day, and uh, you know, you've got your running guns and you've got your campers. Well, uh, I was kind of a mobile camper. I would go somewhere, sit for just a second, and then keep going. And that's kind of what I do when I squirrel hunt. Um, you know, obviously deer, you know, you, you sit down for, you know, a few hours, but squirrel, I like to listen for them. Um, I like to hear them kicking up leaves and, and their uh, claws on the tree bark and um, obviously the leaves right now are crispy still so I'm making a lot of noise as I'm going but that's one of my advantages and that's a tip. Uh, don't always think it's the best to sit. Of course my way is not always best either. There's been times where I've been deer hunting and I've seen five squirrels right you know, within 10 feet. Um, you know, just sitting there still, but that's not the way I like to squirrel hunt. I've had plenty of success doing the kind of mobile camping thing and listening for them. You got to have a good ear. Um, when it's cold, like right now I got a toboggan on, but, uh, I don't let it cover my ears. I kind of flip the ears up, you know, try to get as good hearing as you can. And vision definitely, um, you got to be on the lookout. So, just a tip. Try mobile camping. If you're the kind of guy that sits there and, and waits, and try stalking them. It definitely, uh, it definitely works. Every time I go, I usually get one or two squirrels. I mean, I would have had that one, but I missed. So we're going to try this other area. It's, it's one of those days outside where it's like hot cold. Like it's too cold to go out where you're comfortable, but it's too warm to where you put on jackets and stuff and then you get hot. So right now I'm kind of hot. I haven't seen too many uh, fox squirrels or you know, red squirrels um, at this area. these areas. I usually always just see gray squirrel. I don't think we have black squirrel where I'm at, but I'm not sure. I've never seen one. The other place I go sometimes is pretty much nothing but uh, fox squirrels, and they're uh, they're a lot bigger than the gray squirrels, it seems like. And if I get one, I'll show you guys how to clean it or how I clean it anyway. Um, I've only I've only went one other time this year, and I've only cleaned one squirrel this year, so I'm a little bit rusty. Uh, the more you clean, the faster you get, and the cleaner you get them. And and by that I mean obviously you know all the guts and and stuff but mostly the hair um the hair once if it sticks on the skin it, it's on you, you can't get it off i mean you could sit there and pick off each hair for two hours and probably still never get them all 
So that's the main thing you want to watch is make sure you get all of the fur off, all the hair, uh, as you're skinning it because, like I said, you're, you're screwed if you don't. Um, a little tip, though, my dad always taught me, however, I've never personally done it, is if you do get some hair, you can take it over a gas stove um, or you know a lighter, I guess, would do the same thing and uh, just kind of singe the hair off. Um, they say they used to do that when they would get a few hairs on there. But it's, it's almost impossible not to get a couple. You know, a couple you can pick off, but when you, you know, mess up and accidentally brush it up against the skin and you get like 100 hairs, you're, I mean, you're screwed. So just be careful with that. We're almost there, just on the other side of the lake. I am starving. I should have ate something because when I don't eat, I I don't feel that good because I got blood sugar problem. Um, so yeah, I got the Stoger Condor 410 over under out there with me today. Um, it's always done pretty good for squirrel and, and rabbit, but uh, you got to be close. I mean, nothing really against that gun, but that just the 410 um, in general is just... It, it disperses very wide, very fast. Um, and that's what I think happened with uh, that squirrel that I missed. I think I was just a little bit too far. Um, it just probably just shot a bunch of pellets all around it. But, you know, if you're close enough, it, it absolutely, you know, drops them perfect, nice clean. Uh, and I'm all about the clean kill too. Uh, if something's suffering, I can't stand to see that. Uh, so I try to make it as fast and you know I guess painless oh damn somebody's here and it's a one spot spot well guys that was a fail someone's in my spot but I got one more up my sleeve let's go peep it I got a couple squirrels here one time but I've only squirrel hunted it like once or twice God, that sun's bright. Backing up in the middle of this intersection. That sucks. There's usually no one there, but of course the time where I actually want to go and show you guys there's someone there. That guy might be deer hunting though. Although, you know, I did hear a shotgun, so maybe he's squirrel hunting over here. Rabbit, I don't think rabbit's in yet. I think it's next week. That's pretty much the only thing in season is squirrel. Of course, you know, coyote and uh, possums, I think, and um, maybe a couple other nuisance species are always in season. I got my deer tag. I went deer hunting a couple weeks ago with my bow uh, here in Ohio. They just reintroduced rifle season uh, during gun season, which is only three days, I believe. Um, so I just use a bow. and I have a, a compound bow and a crossbow. I'll take one or the other. And anyway, I went hunting uh, here actually where I got my deer last year and um, I couldn't stay. Uh, that was shortly after I had LASIK done, and I couldn't stay very long because my vision, my eyes were just bothering me. They were dry, they were blurry, and you know, even if I seen a deer, I wouldn't have felt real confident shooting it. Um, you know, like I said, I'm all about the good shot. You know, I, I try not to ever take a shot unless I know it's a good shot. Damn, somebody's here. Well, guys, that's the only spots we got. There's only three spots to hunt here, and they're all taken. Wow, I've never seen that before. Well, guys, I guess that pretty much wraps up this. So, uh, anyways, try out the mobile camping. Try out the stalking the squirrels. 
you know see if it works for you let me know if you got any tips on anything you know something that may help me out definitely let me know I'll try to share the knowledge uh, squirrel call I just thought about that for some reason I bought one and I think it's pretty pointless I think it's pretty dumb uh, it's I, it, I've it's never fucking called in a squirrel for me I think they just look at me and laugh they don't even care uh, so don't I, I don't I wouldn't recommend wasting your 10 bucks or 20 bucks or whatever on one I don't think they work I mean they sound pretty similar to a squirrel but just didn't seem to work and I've tried it on multiple different occasions so I'm heading home now uh, maybe throw this video in the editor um, just cut out some of the boring stuff and uh, let me know what you guys think and uh, let me know any tips um, you know shoot me a subscription um, you know I try to be connected with the viewers uh, always comment back always um, you know stuff like that so like comment subscribe um, I'm doing the gun uh, gun reviews now doing some hunt videos and of course the moto vlogs are my main thing but bike season's pretty much over so I got a couple stored back I'm gonna put out uh, and the rest is probably gonna be mostly hunting gun videos for for the winter time so anyways guys peace out take it easy and thanks for watching